about moving the needle. That's the commentary that we got from Warren Buffett as well over the weekend in his shareholders letter, the annual letter that we all look forward to. And as always, pearls of wisdom coming in from there. When he believes that there is not much right now that excites them, uh, he uh, offers to say that there is probably the right time to uh, expect no eye-popping performance this time around. There's only a handful of companies in the country that are capable of truly moving the needle at Berkshire. What they would rather do is have that cash pile ready uh, and that has of course scaled to a new high and they believe that they will you know they will rather put money in a place which is expected to have a higher return rather than just having an average return because that is what Berkshire Hathaway stands for. But um, Nikunj, of course, he also paid a bit of a tribute to Charlie Manjur as well. Uh, he passed away and he talks about how he was the architect and great contractor <coughs> of the entire company. See, when we read uh, history and when our uh, coming generation will read uh, history, Buffett and Munger uh, friendship or their partnership in a sense would be perhaps the supreme friendship of two individuals, how they can come together and how in the investing world where everybody has a different view on everything, how they were able to build a franchise which is built to last and they in a sense have one of the, they had rather, I, so sorry to say the word had, or they had the word, uh, they had the longest partnership which any two partners actually can have. So that's Buffett on Charlie. He's not shying away from the fact that, look, Charlie was the architect. Charlie was the one who gave him this mantra, which in a sense is the cornerstone on which Berkshire Hathaway has been built, which is that you buy a good business at a fair price. Before that, Berkshire Hathaway in a sense, or before that, Barrett Buffett would always look at buying bargains and value companies which are available below the intrinsic values. That's Charlie's contribution there. But in this time's newsletter, is there anything strikingly different? No. They are not talking about any large opportunities anywhere. They are talking about seldom things which are available. In fact, the communication is very clear. The magical track record of Berkshire Hathaway from these levels in the future is unlikely to continue. I'm, there is no mention on AI actually. I was hoping that there would be some mention on AI because in the past explicitly Buffett's talked about uh, Bitcoin. So there is no large mention in of about AI. He does talk about the fact that accepting US there are no large opportunities which we can see in the outside market also. This he's saying at a time when they've gone to Japan. Japan. Berkshire Hathaway a couple of years ago has gone to Japan and they've really shopped a lot there. Now you have to respect the fact that Berkshire Hathaway has a is a US company, so their view would of course be limited to what the understanding of business is. They've, there is not even an iota of mention on India. Hmm. There's not even an iota of mention on anything else which is happening in the world. And that $150 billion of cash pile, what they're sitting on, he says the same, that you should buy the fear and sell the greed. When there is a financial distress, I'm going to be using my cash pile. But $150 billion is almost like 65% of the market cap of Reliance. That's the kind of market cap, or that's the kind of cash they're sitting on. But unfortunately, he's not finding any opportunity to deploy that cash. Yeah, and sitting at a record high cash pile. <clears throat> Also saying that no, see no chance of an eye-popping performance uh, for Berkshire Hathaway in the current scenario. <laughs> but you know what, let me take it across to Vinnie. She's gone through the entire letter. Vinnie, anything that we missed out? Absolutely, you know, most of it is covered. You know, I just want to start with the comment that you ended on that, you know, eye-popping gains for Berkshire is something that one may not see given that the sheer size of the business that is there, you know, so they will do slightly just better than the average companies and this is due to obviously the size of the company that we're seeing. Other than that, you know, let's say that, you know, outside US, you know, what uh, Warren Buffett is highlighting in this letter is that essentially they do not see any candidates that are seeing a meaningful option in terms of them outside the US market as well. Uh, there will be only a handful of companies that they believe uh, this country is capable of actually moving the US that's what he's highlighting because he's talking about the US and uh, Buffett is further highlighting that there's very few companies that will actually move the needle uh, like um, at the Berkshire side as well other than that uh, in terms of they're saying that, that Berkshire is quite ready to step and uh, in and uh, and the financial if the financial disaster strikes in then they're very uh, prepared for this situation as well they have cash pile that is scaled up to new record highs so obviously because of that they're quite well prepared as well and in in terms of overall, uh, they say that Buffett is highlighting that they favour the rare enterprises that can deploy additional capital at high returns in the future as well. Um, what he's highlighting that an investor is entitled to listen and uh, get in the good or the bad news from uh, the CEOs themselves rather than the investor relationships, um, uh, com uh, managers or anything in terms of that as well. And obviously, they said that uh, boxers should be a bit better than overall average American corporations that we are seeing in terms of a performance going forward as well. 
Furthermore, uh, you know, Buffett is highlighting that investors should actually not listen to uh, the Wall Street pundits and only look at in terms of the companies that are coming in and how the performances of the companies are going forward, other than just listening to uh, people on the street and just uh, making the choices in terms of the stocks as well.